What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another Let's Play. Um, I'm doing Yu Gi Oh! Duels of the Roses on the PS2. I'm gonna go straight into a new game, no point going for the other options, they're just meh. Continues, obviously, continue on what's on your memory card. Custom duels if you want to battle your friends on the same TV where you can watch each other's cards. And there's trade where you can in trade cards, obviously. So anyway, this is, is actually a very interesting Yu-Gi-Oh! Guys, it's not like this standard, you know, play five cards on the field and whatnot. It's slightly different, but we'll get into it when we get into it. Anyway, this is a very unusual thing. It's based in England. There's most games are based in America or somewhere like that. Not many games are actually based in the UK. Funny, I don't know why, but there you go. So anyway, it's basically. White versus red roses sort of thing scenario, and of course, them goes we are summoned to Stonehenge. Of course, no one knows to this day what the purpose of Stonehenge is, but there you go. And this is Simon. He's a dick. He stole us from our own timeline to here to well battle the white rose because he well they can't beat him for some reason. I don't know why. We've got Yugi on this side. He's supposed to be the king of games, but he still can't beat him. So he's asking us for our name, so let's see, let's give him this name. Uh, let's call myself King Tom. Just for shits and gills. Yeah, that sort of scenario. And I should also point out, this is completely live commentary. This is not post, this is live. So all my reactions due to trap cars being that thing is going to be legit I could say because most <laughs> pretty much all my videos are post commentary it's like all my Pokemon ones are post commentary my Wi-Fi battles because I want to edit out all the thinking time at all you could say to make it the video shorter and you know more fast paced anyway so Simon saying he like I said he needs us help to defeat the white world because we're no good at it and he just mentioned something about the perfect rule in other words he's saying our system of dueling is perfect. It is not. There's a fatal flaw in this. And I should it will be probably maybe demonstrated later down the on. And we're gonna skip the tutorial because we don't need to watch it. See so if you ever think of picking up this game, if you're a Yu-Gi-Oh! fan, I think you should really already have it. But anyway, the, the wall is a, there's a slight flaw in it, but like I said, we get to that when we get to that. And also we got a, a fairy deck, a aqua deck, on a pyro deck, looks like it. So, hmm, I think we should go with 
the aqua deck, why not? Here we go. Oh, who's this? Oh, it's good old Seto. And of course, Seto is playing the bad guy in this game, even though I can send him as a good guy in the anime, even though he's always like calling each other, everyone else names and what, oh, but there you go. Let's look at send him a good guy. Mind you, animals, old man. Ha! Good old set on his ego. So basically, Settles is saying he knows the summoning that brought us here, and he knows the summoning to bring us back to our own timeline. So he's offering like some sort of uh, like proposal sort of scenario. But he's it. What they going on about this spell of doom, which I don't know, understand about. <laughs> I think it's, uh, it's just someone, someone else as well, but we'll get to that when we get to that. So otherwise, this guy, he settles saying he, in order for us to get back home, we need all six road cards. Obviously, the whites have eight, and the whites have eight. But what? Well, the thing is though, yeah, there you go, sixteen rose cards. And of course, Seto claims he knows a spell. Well, hopefully he does. And he's offering us a partnership, you know, to be paired up with him. And, or, to go with the Red Rose. Which, honestly, well, who should I go with? The good guys or the bad guys? Seto saying he can head to this home. Some is calling Seto a power hungry lunatic. And, I know Seto's claiming a. Which him was up to name calling. You're calling him an old man, for God's sake. So that's name calling you settle. So anyway, so this is now we get the choice. The white or the red. I think we should go with the bad guys, just to spice it up a bit. Of course Simon can't believe it, but there you go. So, I know what the setter wants us to do. He wants us to travel through parts of England and France to find the eight road red cards, I should say, and bring them back to him at the Stonehenge. But we have to defeat eight old, well, Yugi and seven of his followers. So, okay, look. Who's up first? Oh, it's T. Or should it be Taya, I should point out. But for, before we get into the duel, let's check out my deck. Because obviously it should be an aqua deck, but we have a communal dragon, an aqua mana, two fiends, okay, a fish, oh, and a decent fish, and the sea, oh, Kashi Shin. All spaces flip turn to C. Oh, that could be quite useful, actually. He said the most about deck supposed to be C, but don't know why machines in here. Machines get a decrease one in the C. Ugh, that's weird. Oh, we've got some aquas. That's not as nice. Oh, hang on. What's your ability? Thousand pound boiners when abandoned machines. I don't think that's going to be any useful. But it's like, if you see King has the same ability. If you saw life point damage by zero, well, that's okay. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. What else have we got here? Oh, okay. The stretch in those trans spaces tend to see. Okay. When this card's flip. Oh, Arkham Monsters are gained by 300 attack points. Oh, Penguin Soldier. That's all Penguin Knight by 800. But I don't see Penguins. Okay, I don't see Penguin Knight. Space the opponent's hand for 5 seconds. Boost the attack points of all War Monsters. Oh, he looked at that one and increased the water monsters by 500. That's all okay. And Tins of the Mermaid, which is a trap. The spell binds the opponent for one turn and decreases their attack and defense points by 600. Okay, that's basically the whole deck. I also managed to jump most powerful card is the fish. So it looks like I might lie on the fish. But I should be alright. I should be alright. So. 
Let's go and face Taya and Winter. Of course, she says she's gonna. Well, she's claiming she's gonna teach us a lesson. I highly doubt that. So let's get this battle started. Uh, so remember, it looks like, and this is the difference. This is my deck leader. All the summon monsters, you must be in a certain range. So if I move forward, I can now summon monsters behind me. But the thing. In order to go to attack directly, you must. Yeah, let's. How should I put it? You must have attack you directly. So, otherwise, if they she summons a monster and it hits my deck leader, that's direct life point damage. And of course, she has a deck leader known as Dancing Elf. There you go. And I should go over her strategies. She solely bases her entire strategy on um, fairy monsters, and you think, oh, fairies are pushovers, but uh, they're not. Not certain fairies, unfortunately. Some of them are quite a pain in the backside when you get when you face them. Well, we'll get to that when we get to that. So, anyway, let's just... And, of course, this is what you can... Press the up arrow on two cards. Press X. And you can fuse them together to make a random monster. So, I made something called... Bolt is a god. That's, a, that's how you... And there's no... You don't need pause this. You can just do that with any cards. But it has to make a combination. If it doesn't... One of them gets sent to the grave. Otherwise, if that didn't work, my bold penguin would have gone sent to the graveyard. Ah, perfect. We saw in my Rukishin. I don't think we need the dolphin, so let's just give that and demonstrate. There you see. Boop. Don't need it, so that goes to the graveyard. And I think next turn we're going to see why I like this game so much. Because of all, it just takes some skill. You can't, can't just press random cards in your deck and hope to win. No, 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 no. Takes skill. And she's going to attack me. With Goddess of the Third Eye. Against my Fiend Kraken. And you, like I said, you just why every single card in this game, monster, I should say, has its own battle. Amnation. Victory Dan is defending. I mean, it must took him ages to do this. Obviously, it's not every single card in Season 1, mind you. It's due to the fact that would take ages, but it's... And there's also some Season 2 cards thrown in the mix as well. So you might see some of that as well. So my thing, Kraken managed to take it, because it's got 200 more. So she takes 200 damage. But unfortunately, I am Spellbound, because... What, um... Light monsters have a disadvantage, has advantage over water. Because she, she's battle mate, I am now spellbound. So I can't move. Damn it. But however, if she attacks, say, a dark monster like my mechanical snail, she will get spellbound. But I shall not demonstrate that because I don't want to take any unnecessary life point damage. So anyway, that's all I can do at this moment in time, because I have personally I have too many wee monsters, but there's nothing I can do about that. I have to wait till she attacks me some way on the Oh my god, she's already got that out. Her most powerful card, a knight. And I should point out, if we've seen the monster attack, I will skip it. You could just put easily skip all these things by pressing the circle button. But if we haven't seen him attack or whatever, then we won't see him attack. But I won't show the, the you know, victory animation is no point. And there's all the, I oh, should say, death animations are nothing but they're just they probably just throw the sword in the air going, Yay! I did it! Nothing interesting, so I'll lose my bolt thing. Already, that uh, sucks. We didn't even get to see him attack, but maybe we get to see him attack later. But now I'm going to make a pickle here. She has the most powerful, her most powerful monster out on the field already. I haven't. But I do have a plan though. However. 
So if I move my Kakashin there and just, uh, you know, I just summon. Yeah, uh, let's see. Well, I don't want any of you. Don't want any of you. Well, I might need you. The reason I sign in my Psychic Kappa because he has the ability, you know, he takes no damage when destroyed in, in attack mode. So, so might as well do that like that. So let's see what he, she gonna do. She can't attack me, I can't attack it, but oh no, she's going for my Kraken. Why are you attacking my Kraken? Oh no poor Kraken. So it looks like I'm losing I'm gonna lose my Kraken. Oh she's moving forward. Oh, good old tears on the MMA. That should be quite useful, cause in it. Well, don't, well I'll make, I think I might say that for a rainy day, you could say. So in the meantime, let's. Um, oh, I can't waste. Oh, you know, I'll put it next to my deck leader at this moment of time. You know, to defend me. Cause if, cause a trap card is working. If the opponent goes in that box, that box, that box, or that box, and you say. Her monster was there and he's attacking me. Since he's taken it in that box, it will activate. So anyway, so we'll just end the turn there. Let's see what she does. Look, of all she at this point, she does have the advantage. And looks like, oh, she's heading that way. Oh, she's attacking my mechanical elf with weight and temperature. And if you, if you're, you got no nerd like me, you understand that. Rain temperature doesn't have a special ability in the actual real life car game, but in this game it does. And I believe its special ability is it cancels all power up effects. So if I power up my monsters and it gets attacked by that, it. Well, well I lose all the power ups. Which sucks. And you see, rain temperature is doing what it does best blowing and sunbeaming me to death. But since I'm a dark, it will get spellbound. Like so. And looks like she's gonna attack me with Spear of the Harp. But considering all my special ability activated, I don't take any damage whatsoever. So that's nice. Because not only does it expose the number one of cards. We get this end of attack, and she attacks me with some musical notes. It hurt. It hurt a lot. And there I go. But like I said, I shouldn't take any damage because that's a special ability. And what well, you know, I don't. So, okay, um, so I'm a bit of a pickle here. Oh, I don't need you, so let's summon that thing in defense mode to protect me. I might as well activate Eye of Truth to see what car she got in her hand. Oh, God, this is bad. Wind Trumpet powers up all her fairies by 800 points. Not 800, 600, but I can't have that. So I am going to destroy that knight. So I do not want that knight being powered up. But because of my Wukashin, or Kadishu Shin special ability, it turns the train to C, as you can well, C here. I am more powerful because I gained five. You gain a 500 attack and defense point buff when in this terrain. So he goes for surf and totally owns the night. But since I am a water and that's a light, I'll get spellbound. So that sucks. But it's better to get rid of that because that's the thing I want to hurt is I think that trumpet. So that's all taken care of. 
That's the only thing I, I hate about, you know, facing someone that has complete light deck like she does. Well, sort of light. There's actually some earth and wind monsters in here as well. But, like I said, I do not want her to have that wind trumpet. Hmm. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to fuse these two together. Because this is an actual fusion. I will nibble it for my many play fuse on my other memory card. I hope it works this... And it worked! Woo! Ah, ladies and gentlemen, meet the one of the best cards in the game. Aqua Dragon. Every time this card engages in battle, it turns the terrain underneath it into water. So, it, technically, it has 2,750 attack points. That is amazing. And the reason I haven't equipped my, my uh, power of uh, Kagashin onto it because of weight and temperature, obviously. So, that's all taken care of. So, it looks like I'm in a good position now since I have probably the most powerful card I can summon in my deck. Actually not, because I know I know another combination which well, actually technically it's not. Another 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 combination which I can make a monster with two thousand eight hundred attack points, but it doesn't have the special ability of my sea serpent thing. So uh, I don't think I'll be making that because making all the terrain water will be beneficial to all my other monsters. Nah. Oh, wind trumpet. Ah, uh, some of her. See that all my monsters got a tr little train buff, you can say. Um, put you in defense. Yeah, leave you in. Put you in defense, my man. You down one. And you attack that. But good old special ability. I am. Well, would have got destroyed if it wasn't for Aqua Dragon's special ability. And now we get to see him attack. And he looks menacing. Look at that. It looks like he's going to find a water fire or a blue flyer at this. At her, and there she goes. And her special ability is when flipped, all monsters of under a thousand attack points on your side of the field increase by a thousand. So, otherwise, if she did buff up weight and temperature, if that would have beasted up to 1,000 attack to by a thousand. So it would be 2,000 attack points. And if she had to raise the trumpet, it would have been 2,600. That is ridiculous. And look, even Spear of the Heart got a little. Well, because of the trumpet. But luckily, that's got rid of it. So, let's take a bit of the pickle here, because where temperature is breathing down my neck. Just because that is now more powerful than my defense. My shell cracking, I should call him. But luckily, I do have a uh, my what's it called? Tears of the Mermaid. Once I get rid of weight and temperature, that it'd be much easier to power up my cars because it would also cancel out my Aqua Chorus, which powers up all my um, let's see how sh all my water monsters. But now she's gonna take out take my liquid liquid beast. So, unfortunately, and also we've already seen Spear of the Heart this ba uh, battle attack, so skip it. But unfortunately, I have. N I am a bit of a. Like I said, pickle here. Um. So, let's put that in defense mode and end my turn. Because I've just moved my tears on the moon right behind me, so it should activate and cripple that way in temperature. Of course, she's like, oh, I got him on the ropes. Not quite. My 
Tears of the Moomoo activated. So now it's back to 1500. And now she's going to attack my... Ten tentacle plant. I don't know why I've got a plant monster in my deck. <laughs> Maybe because it's water. I don't know. But anyway, she destroys it. But judging from the fact that her attack boss is only 1400, I can summon one of my other sea serpent monsters and take it out. Like so, whenever one of this one. So let's do that. So that it takes care of that spear of the harp with my Takanin. No, no, so I don't know how you pronounce these names. It's just all over the place on these names. You know, it makes sense. It looks like he's going for. Oh, it looks like hydro pump. So, definitely looks like hydro pump. And there goes Spear the Harp. Shame you didn't flip your. your fairy. Made him thing earlier, you would have had two, probably 2400 attack points. But now, this is light and spellbound, and it's time for Aqua Dragon to take out weight and temperature. Like so, not only do massive damage, but they get rid of it, so I'm safe for more, you know, or get rid of my power up things. Well, uh, I'm not going to use my Scepter of the Water, I should call it, onto my s dragon. Uh, it doesn't need it, really. I'll put it on another card. It makes it s easier to control. More powerful, I should say. Ah, oh, so pure. Now she's just dragged the bat out even longer. Because it's still the life points by 2,000. Ah, oh, great. Now then, I've only got two monsters on the field, both of them are spellbound. Um, I might as well get rid of both of you, you know, both of you are useless. Like so, uh, this exposed another one of her monsters, I guess. Okay, so sh oh, she's. Oh, I was gonna move my monsters into the water zone, but obviously she moved our monsters forward, so that could be a hinder in the plan. Oh, Starboy powers up all my aquas by 300. Too bad I don't have any decent aquas out on the field. The only aqua I've got is that. So, and you're useless, okay, but if you. So let's put you in defense mode. And saying that. My maiden has a special ability. When this card is in face up defense position, it powers up all aqua monsters by 500. So, god damn it. <laughs> really wish I had that card in my deck. So, okay, so. Oh, I forgot to switch my monster into defense mode. Ah, god damn it. Oh, wow, really? Well, oh, god damn it. It's a. Light monster, so I, so I get spellbound, and then she can just use to destroy it. Then, ah, ah, uh, looks like her egg is going for a laser beam attack. But since my monster is in attack mode, it's going to retaliate. So we get to see this thing attack. That looks like a ball of acid. <laughs> and there it goes. Well, I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh, I'm going to lose life points here, but I didn't. But now she's going to try and attack. Oh, hang on. That might be a fairy monster over there. Yeah. <laughs> oh. God damn it. Out of glass of life. So now we get to see another attack. Oh, I can't believe this. 
Oh, how did I forget to put that in defense mode? And let's say here, here this was some star busts or something like that. So we lose my st <laughs> pathetic starfish. Oh, 700 life points there. Ah, oh, dear. Oh my god, another winged trumpet deer! Oh, it just gets better and better, doesn't it? Okay. Okay, if I move you there. Now I can't take it out. Um. I mean, you there, you're still more powerful then. Yep, yeah, still more powerful. I think the best option is to summon my turtle tiger in defense mode. And get rid of you, do you? There we are, that's the best thing I can do. Because I believe I still got my red ocean sea snake in my deck somewhere. Which has a tap point of 1800. So I'm going to put use my scepter of the water on that to beef it up, you could say. And then I'll flip my. Then I shall flip my star boy and give it a little power boost. Okay. Okay, might as well take that out. Because the uh, last thing I want to do is have any monsters which are uh, powerful enough to take me out. So take it out. Also, get a little extra war train going as well. Why not? Of course, a special ability kicks in. If it loses, uh, it will, she will lose a thousand life points and summon the most powerful card in the graveyard. Which I believe it would be her knight that I destroyed with my Wikishin or Wikushin or something like that. Because that is, it had uh, 1900 attack points. And it looks like she's gonna try and destroy my El Mlimba, or whatever it's called. Definitely looks like it. Ah, aqua core is perfect, but I'm not going to activate now. Wait till I get my sea, uh, my aqua sea snake out, then activate it. Ah, oh, she's fearing me. She's fearing. Like I said, uh, oh, no, so she's going to attack my, my uh, sea serpent. Ah, okay, switch you in defense mode. Um, you attack that. Oh, you son of a bitch! Oh, you son of a beep, beep, beep! Oh, great, that's completely. Oh, great, 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 great. Okay, what I'm gonna do after ditch, I'm gonna ditch all these cards. But since I have too many monsters on the field, they automatically get sent to the graveyard, like so. And the reason I'm doing that because I want to join my Aqua Sea Sink, so I can that's my Aqua Chorus to get my uh, my dragon back into buff range. But now it's weaker than that Goddess of the Third Eye, for God's sake. Even in my little, even in my own terrain, for that matter. And it's, uh, well, it's not weaker than the eye, but still weaker than the other egg thing. Winged egg of new life, which has got the same model, I should point out. Some monsters have, do have recycled models, I do admit that. But some of them, you just like, you, you understand, yeah. Why make a whole new monster design when it's basically the same one? But this time, this, this egg fires. Fireballs at us instead of a laser beam, which is. Well, <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess it was like, uh, the other one fired the beam, make this one fire fireballs. Just do it that way. So, like I said, my serpent's now 
pretty much bugged. And um, uh, I draw my fear is seeking. And I guess that's gonna be a that'd be a good card to have. Um, that's still more powerful. Oh my God! Oh God! Oh God! Um, I don't need you. Don't need you. Nothing. Um, I might need a few sea kings. So I'm gonna <laughs> turn my act of thing in defense mode. Ah! Uh, <laughs> oh, I can't believe that. That's just buggering me up. I can't believe why right the bottom of my deck is my serpent. My sea snake, but oh, but I'm down to six cards, and she's still got 20 left. And I know she also has something called creature swap, which random delays where the monsters land, where they are. Ah, oh, there it is, finally. Um, okay, get rid of you. Get rid of. There we go. Now let's flip it. And then we flip you. Now that 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 is giving my monsters a bit of a buff, you could say. So let's attack that. And it's like another one of those. Oh, it's another one. But look at me getting easy to destroy it. Ah, now I'm spellbound. Uh, let's move my amoeba here. And let's end my turn. That's the best thing I can do. It looks like she's going to try and attack my aqua dragon. Ah, she's summoned that thing. For you those who don't know what that thing does, which is pretty much everyone, it halves the damage taken. So in other words, in this battle she's going to take half the damage she's going to normally supposed to take, but after she fires these fireballs at me, we're going to see my Ocean King Snakes attack. And let's see, that is also going for a surf attack, looks like it. Pretty much a lot of the aqua monsters do have the surf attack. So that's that. See, she should have took 700 damage because of that stupid thing's out on the field. She only takes half that. And I don't really have any cards left. Oh god, it's my Camel Dragon. And some useless cards. But which I think she's gonna. Because she's technically more powerful than me, she's gonna try and tap me. But it's gonna dramatically backfire. You see in a minute why I say that so she's gonna attack me but then what happens to the train turns into water and I'm all powerful but since we already seen these two attack there's no point watching it and I get spellbound again okay You know what, I'm gonna let my amoeba get destroyed, actually. I know this sounds harsh, but I think it... Who knows, it might be able to destroy where that is. Cause not, the fairies are not that all-powerful. Oh, she's gonna switch into defense mode. Move that there. Muscle well, switch in defense mode. It's most defensive, and just end my turn. There's nothing that I can do.
Okay, uh... Let's see what that is. Oh, I'm all stronger! No, no, it's in defense mode, so it's a neutral hit. But we're good to see how this thing attacks. I'm actually quite curious how this blob attacks, even though you can barely see it. Oh, it's like a jellyfish. Interesting. So, uh, but she can, so it's a neutral hit, which is actually very good. Because this hourglass is special, basically, is when destroyed, it powers up all her monsters by a thousand. So that is good thing that I didn't destroy it. I was like, oh, destroy it. Oh no, destroy this thing. But no. Uh, she's very good at her. Very good indeed. Okay, so let's move Aqua Dra My giant sea snake, I should say, not Aqua Dragon at all. <laughs> Aqua Dragon spellbound there. I just pray for God she doesn't act like Creature Swap or where it is. Okay, what is she planning? What is she planning? Well, there's nothing I can do, so I'll just end my turn there. Oh, oh, okay, she's going to try and attack me. Okay, she. I see your bold plan there, will, Missy. Uh, that attacks that. And it's like another egg. Oh, another winged egg of the elf sort of thing. So okay, that takes it out. And what am I? I'm gonna ha probably have to do. I'm gonna have to move my amoeba. Down the space, like so. Because now I'm in attacking range because my beeper's on the, the water. It gains a two movement boost, so it can attack it. But if she moves there, she'll get hit. She moves there, she'll get hit. She moves there, gets hit. So, otherwise, doesn't matter which position she really moves, she's gonna get. Unless she plays a card there. Yeah. <laughs> my fate, the fatal flaw in my plan. Ah, I knew it was that knight, that knight thing, but I am more powerful than the knight. By a thousand. But like I said, we've already seen this thing attack, there's no point watching it again, but my turtle tiger is still more powerful than that. But it's on the mountain range, so it's more powerful than me. Oh! God damn it. <laughs> Okay, that still doesn't make it more powerful in my thing. Um. Hmm. Actually, if I actually attack that, oh, it's just a spell card. What, what was it? You can always check the grave and say what it is. Okay, nothing really useful, but um, I've got a thing. I don't know what she's gonna activate soon, and I'm not gonna like it. Please don't activate creature swap. Oh, please don't activate creature swap. Please don't activate. Like I said, it randomly generates where the monsters are, and it's like, it puts my uh, Meeper here, my turtle there, her knight on the other side. Okay, um... Uh... 
Uh, might as well get rid of you. Oh no, I can't. <laughs> I should have paid attention to the tap point. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I done goofed. I should be in jumping to conclusions, you could say. Ah, oh, this still is dragging out longer than it really should. It's just ah, oh, I knew she was gonna activate that bloody creature swap eventually. Ah, and she moved that onto the water train. Why would you do that? Uh Oh good she moved away from the water train. But it still doesn't help my situation because I'm well, I'm gonna try and attack her delay, but she looks like she's just moving them all away. Ah, oh, come on. Just give up, you're not gonna win. Oh, a dark fairy type, but since it's a dark fairy type, I don't get spellbound. Woo! And there, there goes that. So we see Serpent still in Honky Door, but it looks like she's going to try and tap me from behind. But luckily, I have my Tiger Turtle there, which should take it out, unless she really buffed it up. Well, I'll I don't say she's moving in that direction, but I think Aqua Dragon can cut off that movement. Oh, she's moved him further down. Okay. So if I move my Aqua Dragon here, and my giant, sea, giant red sea snake here, she can't move forward or backwards. She has to go to the... S oh, but no, she decides to move forward. And I believe that would be my victory. Because she's just done that. So let's do it. Yep, and that's the end of the duel. And it's been bloody a long one due to creature swap. And due to a messy trap card. But anyway, that is the duel. I win. Yes. Oh. Here comes the. F this is how you acquire cards in this game in a graveyard slot machine. So any because she's sent to the graveyard, I get a chance to win. Well, there's a cutoff limit at a certain points, so... And if you get free in the world, you get a special wear card, so... So, oh, I've got tears at the moment, that's always handy to have another one in your deck, I guess. Because you can have free of any card you want in your deck. So... Oh, nice! I just need to find. Okay, so it goes to three eggs, the three bows, and then see there you go. It's the three eggs, these are three bows, and there it is. <laughs> one thousand, two. F ah, hang on, one thousand uh, bows, eggs, bows. <laughs> Sorry, I'm taking my time here. Uh, eggs, bow. Ah, damn it! I pressed it way too early. Well, that's the first duel taken care of. And my love, oh, shipping going on there. So we acquire the Red Rose. Our next opponent is Tristan. And that'll be in the next part, and stay tuned for that one, and...